Hi everybody, it's Ben from Claire.io. In this tutorial I'm going to show how to create mesh lights with V-Ray to make your scenes look more realistic. So what I have right here is I have uh, a complex scene um, and I'm using our proxy system. So you're seeing bounding box meshes in our viewports, um, these three, but in this one, in the uh, live uh, V-Ray RT render, you're seeing the full detail meshes. In this render you'll notice right away that I have very hard shadows. It's because I have three directional lights. This looks somewhat artificial. It would be more realistic if we had soft shadows, and those soft shadows are usually created by either area lights or mesh lights. So we're going to create a mesh light right now. There's two parts to creating a mesh light. The first component is you actually have to create a mesh that's going to, that's going to be emitting your light source. So I've created a sphere here. It's really small. Let's create that around um, somewhere around probably 8 works, and we're going to move that actually out of the scene so it doesn't uh, render. So I've put it underneath the um, floor plane here. The second part of creating a mesh light is I have to create the mesh light object for V-Ray, and that's this uh, toolbar button right here. I, c I select the mesh uh, light, and then I make sure that it's actually using the sphere, because right now it's a point light. So I set it to use the sphere, and I can move it into position. Uh, and what I also have to do is I have to make it so that this mesh um, is not visible. So we're going to set it to be invisible. So it's now not going to show that um, the the me emitting mesh. Although you may want to show that for cases where you're making like a neon light system. I'm also now going to get rid of the existing lights in the scene. Uh, the three directional lights just by going on the preset and deleting the, that base uh, object. So you'll now see that the scene is lit and it has very nice soft shadows coming out of it. We can move the light up a little bit. We can increase its intensity. That's a bit high. Let's lower that to maybe like 2.5. And if we were making like a campfire scene that have like maybe a slight yellow or orange tint to it. And that actually, that looks much more realistic um, than our, our perfectly directional hard shadows. So that's it. Okay, thanks for your time.